Yes, oh, it's heavy good. and it's very expensive and delicate. Well, I became interested in snow and ice probably from an age earlier than I can remember. I've been skiing and snowboarding almost my whole life, and I grew up in Alaska. And Alaska, just like Greenland, is one of those places that's being impacted by climate change uh, in a really noticeable way. I'm a snow hydrologist, and specifically I study the impact that impurities or dark impurities have on snow melting and in almost all snow covered environments including Greenland sunlight is actually the main factor that drives snow melt and when you put impurities on the snow surface they absorb more sunlight and that drives melting or enhances melting at a rate faster than increased air temperature it's a pretty large impact on hydrology and also on climate if it lands on like the Greenland ice sheet or in Antarctica. We're digging a pit down to the 2012 layer. What makes snow really unique is that it's highly reflective. It can reflect up to 90% of incoming sunlight. So it plays a really important role in Earth's climate by keeping it cooler. I think one of the main benefits of being involved in dark snow is one, it's a really exciting new project, it's a new idea, to come up here and really target a certain year. What happened in 2012 when there was record intensity forest fires and record melt? How do those two things tie together and is there deposition of black carbon from these forest fires onto the ice sheet surface? It's exciting to, to be able to come up here and try to answer that question. Even though you can't see black carbon particles visually with your eye, it doesn't mean that they're not present. This impact from dust and black carbon and other light absorbing impurities is actually not well represented in climate models or land surface models. And so by studying and understanding this process, we can know not only how to mitigate it, but how to represent it and model it better to understand the processes. I'm excited that we got out here onto the ice sheet and got some samples to analyze. Yeah, I'm done with the shovels.